Hey everyone, we're here today with a 2004 uh, Chevy Cavalier and we are replacing the upper engine mount. What we're going to do first is support the engine from the bottom, the jack, the block of wood. And right at the back of the pan there where it goes flat. We're not trying to lift it up too high, we're just going to keep it stable when we disconnect the mount. Okay, let's stop there. We'll adjust it if we need to. Okay, now we're going to take a 15 millimeter socket with an extension. We're going to take off two bolts to the engine, two nuts to the body, and this one nut holding on the uh, supporting bracket. For your AC line. So let's start with this one. we're going to do is we're going to get them all loose before we start taking them out. We may have to remove that. Okay. Let's start with getting the two nuts out. Make sure you check on the engine at the bottom from time to time. If your jack is like mine, it will start to sink after a while. Okay, now we're ready to get these two bolts out.
let's remove the peg. First, we're gonna have to move that clip out of the way. This is a 10 millimeter bolt we're removing here. Okay, so that bolt's loose. It's just not coming out because it's been blocked by the clip, but that's all right. Now to get this uh, get the tank out, I'm going to take this pry tool and I'm going to push it between the sidewall and here. And lift up. Exactly where it's split. It's broken there, and you can see the whole piece is broken away in there. Because on the new one, that's where the bolt is. This space here should be there, but this has completely fallen in on itself. The mount we're using is an anchor 3128. And it's going in the same way the old one came out. studs. I'm just going to get these started. Time to get these bolts in and we can see the engine has moved so we've got a bit of a ways to go okay so the engine lowered a little more than we thought so we had to uh lift it up a considerable amount so we've got to the point now where we can start threading these in so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull forward on the engine and then i'm gonna drop these in to place Okay, first one's threading really good. Let's get the second one here. This one's a little tougher because you have the, uh, it's not going in straight because of the valve cover. Actually, what we can do is I've got it halfway through, but I'm just using 
leverage of the ratchet to straighten it out. Pull it. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Okay. It looks like we just got that one too. And we're still pulling the engine forward a bit. Uh, just a little bit. And it seems like it's starting to spread in all right. Back to the other side. And we're just going to do a little bit at a time until this picks itself up. Okay, so we've got all our bolts uh, tightened down, not all the way, but pretty tight. Let's get this back in. At this point, you can remove the jack. Well, anyway, that looks good. That's how you change your upper engine mount on a uh, Sunfire or Cavalier with the 2.2 Ecotec engine. Thanks for watching.